do you prevent ratcheting up of gun control to not, to uh, become a, basically a gun ban or effectively ban guns by making it too legally dangerous and expensive to own guns anymore? And how do we guarantee that more gun control isn't going to lead to the end of gun ownership? You know, let me ask you this question. Um, do you think the government should be taxing cigarettes so that a pack that used to cost two bucks now costs ten? No, they should not. In, no, reduced, they should not. It's reduced cigarette consumption considerably. Okay, well, but I do not know. I do not think they should be taxing as a matter of social engineering. But how do you? But well you still didn't answer the question. How do you? How do? You, how do we know that gun control and ratcheting it up continuously is it part of? Is it part of a gradual strategy of disarming we, we us? We don't. We, we don't. don't. And in, I, I suspect that in many cases that's what people want. Okay. Very good. Thank doesn't you. Doesn't mean I'm opposed to that. What's that? Doesn't mean that I'm opposed to it. You? To, to ending gun ownership. You you're you are opposed to only ending gun ownership. No. You are in favor of ending gun ownership. I, I don't take it either way. Oh. I don't take it either way. But I don't believe that anything has to be forever just because some people think it should be. I don't believe that. And you and I obviously very differ on the role of government. Oh yeah, big time. <laughs> well, thank you. My pleasure. What would you say to the argument that gun control uh, in different forms, whether it's background checks or licensing of firearms dealership, is um, our steps towards a gradual disarming of Americans? Hmm. Yeah, the slippery slope, I think, is the slippery term you slope. might want to use. Or gradu use. gradualism, um, sure. I understand people's fear of the slippery slope. And I had a boss once that said, is when people come together and have a job, mm -hmm. they find things to do. So one of the things I think our legislature, both sides, House and Senate, state and federal, mm -hmm. they have to find things to do for which they can take credit that they feel is in the best interest of society. They have to do something. So that the question and the challenge here, okay, is I, I understand the slippery slope but mm -hmm. in America, the people are supposed to control the legislative branch. And the NRA mm -hmm. does a good job of getting people aroused and calling their legislators. What I think is a challenge for the uh, other participants, the non-gun owners that have concerns, is they also make sure, need to make sure their voices are heard, okay? They call their legislators, mm -hmm. equalize the playing field, so to speak, so that the legislators get both sides of what the people really want. And then they can make some rational decisions and not necessarily put us on a path where you overly constrain gun acquisition and gun ownership within the country. That's one thing I think is unique about America hmm. is we have a 40 percent of the guns in the planet. Right? 45, something Somewhere, like that. Yeah. Right. Something like that. To me, the challenge for us as a country is you know, stay secure, reduce injury and unnecessary death, reduce and improve safety well, and do it without necessarily banning the guns. Okay. That's my, my belief. Okay. And I appreciate that. What I didn't hear from you is, is uh, something that I would say is like a real guarantee that we're not going down a slippery slope. Who's to say that the next generation isn't going to push for more gun control, and, and after that, they're going to push for more and more? And I, I wish I, I could tell you there was something in life that was guaranteed. Uh -huh. I cannot. And I don't think anyone will tell you they can, okay. unless they are a, a tremendous seer that can look ahead. But to me, is the reduction of unnecessary mm -hmm. loss of life okay. is, is essential, and I think it's worth the effort. Hey. I really